Hi everybody, I'm just doing Norman's cage tour and um, yeah, so he's got this big, I think it's the Vision L12 cage and it looks like it's the biggest Vision cage you can get and he's a really small bird but they're supposed to get woodpeckers, um, northern woodpeckers are supposed to get a whole lot bigger and so here he is on the bottom of his cage and this is his foraging box and the plan was not to keep Norman when he was a baby and that we would release him, but he got really sick a little while ago from some weird food he ate while we were on vacation. And, um, yeah, and now he's turned into a pet, and he can fly now, but he doesn't want to leave. Like, we go outside for walks. He's always had his choice to leave, but he never did, so. Norman has now became a permanent ha family pet. I'm not, I'm not going to um, interrupt him right now, because he's really happy. And since it's really hard to find, um... Um, woodpecker food he's stretching, um, I always buy him, the uh, cockatiel foraging boxes, and it's just got little treats inside. Where are they? We'll just go down here. I'll show you the package of what he really, really likes, which is his foraging boxes. These are them. They're the Munchable Shredder Box for cockatiels. But since you can never find woodpecker food, except that suet up there is actually for woodpeckers. And so he has a suet and um, his other foods like seeds. And so they just look like this. And he just loves it. Like, that's his favorite thing of all time. And um, this is kind of a shocker. I'll show it to you later. And I'll show you guys the food that made him really sick later. So you could just be aware for if anybody else has a pet. You know, it's supposed to be a wild bird. But Norman really isn't a wild bird anymore, huh, Norm? Step up. And he doesn't want to step up right now, which I don't blame him because there's a seed diet. And it's actually a treat seed, but Norman, <laughs> Norman, he doesn't like my camera. Hanoi, do you want to come out? No? I don't know it's what up his butt right now, but he's not happy. But in here is his seed diet and um, just some, um, oh, I can't even get it, sorry. It's not on the frame. And his um, yogurt drops and fruits and his seeds. Oh, man. He's just being a really cheeky bird right now. He doesn't like somebody going in his cage. But this cage is two doors. And I know all the doors are open and Norman could get out right now, but he never leaves, so I'm not worried. So in there is his calcium perch, and then this is his, um, it's like, they said it's like a fruit bowl for, um, parrots. But my mom thought it was adorable, so she had to get it, and we had a rainstorm and it was in my bag. And it kind of became demolished. But whatever. And for a while there he used it for a bed, but now I'm kind of using it for its actual purpose. So in there is like some yogurt drops and everything. And his wood perch, which he loves this, and he, he like swings his tail back and forth and it's like he's pumping with his how he went to pump with their legs and it's just hilarious to watch. Sorry, this is really shaky. And um since Norman was getting a little lonely and you can never find um a fake woodpecker toy, I ended up getting a budgie buddy. And sometimes he ends up, like, licking its head since woodpeckers have these enormous tongues. And I'll turn it on. But it's off right now because it's annoying. Like, it drives me crazy. And I just woke up. And then he's got this little toy. And these are, like, mineral blocks up here. And then some, like, pulling tabs and grain and a bell. So that's kind of his like toy perch. And then a mineral lick, a sand perch with some toys in it, another sand perch, and um, a water bottle. Because he seems to like these water bottles a lot more than normal water bottles. And so we'll come down here, and these came, the vision cages come with all of these, um, what do you call them? weird perches and he hasn't completely figured out how to use them yet. His cuddle bone. I, I lost his cuddle bone attachment thing in my dad's truck. And, uh, 
is bladder. And um, I don't use the um, the bars for the bottom because woodpeckers like wood chips. And um, since wood chips smell horrible, I took it out. And um, then you just threw away your tree. You didn't notice that, did you? But he's been a real pest today, but he's still my little cutie. Yeah, are you giving kisses? Sorry everyone, my camera died. But I was just going to talk about how I got the Carefully Colors and I would show you the bay, but I've used it all right now. But um, yeah, so I love it because it doesn't smell like wood chips and he can't really tell the difference. So he loves to just burrow in it and dig in it. And I just gave him a new foraging box because he pooped all over his old one. Lovely bird. He's such a good boy. Jokes. But um, the one thing I really wanted to show you guys was his old cage. So here's his old cage. And geez, I've got no room to compare. So right here, we've got I've got a back up a whole lot. There's his old cage. There's his new cage. And this was a pretty fair size cage at first when he was a baby baby, but he quickly grew out of it because it's not big for a bird. I mean and maybe it could fit a budgie. But not a woodpecker, so he went from Lethbridge to Miami. Lethbridge, Miami. And so that's pretty much it. I'm sorry that it would mysteriously cut off right there. And Norman's just, he just pooped on my shirt. Norman, you're a lovely bird. Come on, down. Norman, off my head. Jeez, okay, maybe I'll cut this out, because this isn't a good part. Thanks, Norman. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.